hello hi good evening now i'm going to show you how to create pipe systems in revit how to create pipe systems in revit let's go to revit let me close this because i want to teach you from the beginning let's go to new i'm going to take plumbing template say okay now see i'm going to draw a pipe okay so when i draw the pipe i can choose what pipe type i'm going to use so for example here we have standard plastic and iron i'm drawing the pipe okay i'm drawing the pipe so this pipe comes with the pipe size tag okay so that i can enable or disable pipe place on tag on placement if i uncheck so you can see so this comes with without a tag okay so this is a pipe okay so if i show it in a gray scale this is the pipe so this pipe defines pipe type pipe material and in the drawing it will this will all look the same everything will look the same but how do we differentiate what is carrying what so what's flowing inside the pipe whether it's a cold water or hot water or a, a drainage a storm water pipe so how do we differentiate these pipe so for that so we are going to use a different method okay some people they use uh, the instance property or type property of pipe and uh, they tag okay so that's not an effective way so uh, you need to learn how the pipe system works okay i'm going to show you how it works um, same like pipe if, if you go to families um, below pipes we have pipe systems okay in the pipe systems we have domestic cold water domestic hot water or hydronic uh, return hydronic supply okay hydronic return and hydronic supply uh, and we have these pipe systems if i select any pipe system so here you can see system classification sanitary okay so this one we can't change okay for example i'm going to create a new pipe system right click and uh, type property i can duplicate okay so before i duplicate i'm going to show you so the pipe system uh, can give you an option to override the graphics so which is here you can mention the line color line pattern and line weight you can show with the different um, color with the pipe system and you can also mention the material and you can also calculate uh, the flow performance or you can also mention all and um, here you can see so you can also uh, check the symbol for a two line drop symbol two line rise symbol and uh, so these symbols you can you can change based on your project standard so these are symbol families okay this is a system now i'm going to create a new uh, system type right click type property duplicate and mention it as test one okay so let's keep it simple um water supply water supply water supply line this is a system okay system classification is sanitary but i can't change it so it's better give cancel and go to um, a domestic water here you can see domestic water cold water 
so this is supposed to be system classification domestic cold water so you can right click and uh, you can duplicate duplicate uh, let's say water supply line okay and uh, so here you can see system classification this is important but we can't change it this is uh, uh, by default uh, uh, interview uh, uh, it's given in interview we can't create a new one we can't change it okay so that's why we have to use the exi existing system to create a new system and the fluid type is water fluid temperature uh, in case if you want to calculate then you can uh, change these values say ok now the system is created what uh, supply water supply line let's rename this is my water supply line ok water supply line is created if I select the pipe here you can see um system type so you can change this to water supply line okay so if you see once you change the system it keeps a different color and i just changed only one pipe but you can see whatever is connected to the pipe so that's also cha uh, changed and uh, in case if i see this in medium so i'm getting in a, getting it in a continuous blue color line in case if i have if you have to change the line pattern uh, i can directly go to the system right click type properties override and here i can change the pattern and i can say okay 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 in AutoCAD, if uh, if you draw the pipe, you draw with the line and um, a text, a line, text, line, text, it will come like that. So in Revit, we have only the line, but in case if you want to add the text, then you can use system abbreviation. I'm going to show you how it works when you are uh, drawing the pipe. Okay, so when you are drawing the pipe. Uh, let's say so you have to choose the system and then go to tag on placement and for tag for tag instead of pipe size tag select piping system abbreviation and then say ok so I'm going to draw the pipe now you see the pipe comes with the texture the, the text actually the tag which is coming above the line but uh, it is empty for now in case if you want to add some value uh, select the system right click type properties uh, here come down abbreviation uh, let's say domestic water supply and say ok if you say ok you will get the value so if you draw the pipe again you have to take care of the uh, system type and then tag on placement and you have to make sure that the right tag is selected and then draw the pipe okay default color we have a different way we can use um, um, we can use the color annotate and pipe legend color we can use pipe legend color so this pipe legend is a color scheme right so if i just place i can choose the scheme and then say okay now based on the scheme also i can give color based on the system also i can give color so there is a difference but based on the scheme uh, we get double line not the single line so that is why 
we prefer system uh, color override okay so if i delete this scheme the color remains the same if you want to change it back to the system color then go to the properties and here um, So this is the view color scheme go to color scheme system color scheme here pipe for pipe give none okay okay so now it is showing the system color override okay we have a different uh, way to uh, override the color okay so you can also select right click override graphics and you can override the color and in case if you can also use the filter uh, or you can use the system or the system scheme color scheme you can use okay it's up to you how do you want to use okay so this video is for creating the pipe system and how it works you need to learn the pipe system uh, by default Revit will give you pipe system so you just have to duplicate and use so we cannot delete them if you if you can delete that means it is user defined some sometimes we can't delete okay so let me show you in case if you don't have any project template uh, then you have to choose without any template okay and if you go to families pipe systems by default we get all these pipe systems right click and you have an option to delete okay so if you go to right click type properties and uh, the system classification is domestic water domestic cold water right click and uh, type properties domestic hot water select right click and uh, type properties fire protection dry okay so these are the systems okay don't delete it because uh, you can't create a new you can only duplicate okay if you want to create a new right click and go to type property and use duplicate so before you duplicate you make sure that the system classification is correct okay so that's all about this uh, video if you like this video please let me know if you don't like this video <laughs> let me know that also Okay.